Hello, this is Mr. Humbert. I teach CTE technology and engineering classes at the high school. Hopefully I'll see you all in a few years in my classroom. Um, I wanted to do a quick introduction using Tinkercad, which many of you um, may already know about from the 3D design tool, where you build um, 3D models using Tinkercad. Um, last year I started using Tinkercad to also learn about electricity. So if you click on the circuits on Tinkercad, you're going to see there's a whole other like, part of Tinkercad that uh, lets you learn about electri electricity and electrical circuits. Once you're in the circuits world, you want to click on Create New Circuit. And the world now looks kind of similar to the 3D modeling world of Tinkercad, but a little bit different too, okay? You still have tools on the sides, you still have a work plane or a workspace. Um, the difference is now the tools are not 3D objects, they're electrical components, okay? So I wanna show you how to run this really quickly and then um, have you experiment with it and build um, a couple different electrical circuits. Um, if you look, I don't know that we have a light bulb. I'm looking. I don't see a light bulb. Okay, so what you have though is an LED, which really is what all our light bulbs in, in our houses are now um, lit up by. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag that into my workspace here. Um, if you two finger click, click up, you can zoom in. Two finger click down, you can zoom out. And I think you can pinch also. Yeah, so you can do the usual pinching with the Mac. And if you click on your trackpad, you can move around. As you click, hold on your click with like your left finger and with your right finger, you can move it. So I have an LED right now, it's red. If I click on it, I can change the color. Let's just make it white so it looks like what we have in our house, okay? I know it's gray, but there's no electricity, so it's not, it's not going to light up yet, okay? Then we need electricity. So you do have a little one and a half volt battery. Notice how, how little that LED is, so I'm going to zoom back out. You also have a nine volt battery. Okay, I'm going to start with the little one and a half volt. Um, so I'm going to line it up so it's kind of close to my little LED bulb, and then um, I have to connect it with some wires. So I'm just gonna drag a line from here to there. If you click, you can kind of get curvy lines. Okay, and I'm gonna go click, 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 there. Um, you should know on electricity, the red side is the positive side or the plus side. The black side is the negative side or the minus side, okay? If you don't connect both sides, the electricity can't flow in a circle, and we call that a circuit, and nothing will happen. So I've connected it up to my bulb, but I haven't started my simulation yet. So if I click on the Start Simulation button, it looks like it lit up. Not very exciting because it's barely white, so I'm gonna stop simulation and I'm gonna click my, my bulb and make it red. I think that might be better to look at. Okay, now it's lighting up, but it's barely lighting up, okay? It's not a whole lot of, um, of power going into this, this little LED bulb. It's only one and a half volts. Um, the voltage coming out of your walls is 120 volts. The voltage coming out of this battery is nine volts. So if you use your math, this is one and a half, this is nine. So if you multiply, you could do multiplication and see how many of these batteries you need to equal this battery as far as power. Um, I'm gonna, let's just connect another LED. So I'm gonna drag another LED over. Okay, and I'm gonna, I don't have to click anything for wires, I just start drawing. So I'm gonna click, 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 boom. Um, 
Notice this wire is green. If I want to make it red, it'll help me keep track of the fact that this wire is on the, um, on the black side. Okay, this wire is this wire is on the red side. So I'm going to make this one a green wire. I mean a red one, not a black one. Okay, now it's a little easier to follow. Um, let's try this. Try powering it up. Okay, this one barely lit up. You can see it's barely lit up. Notice this is a short leg. This is a long leg. Did I do it the same way over here? I didn't. Because if you look, the short leg is connected to the black side, the negative side. The long leg is connected to the red side, the positive side. Over here, the short leg is connected to the red side. Here, the short leg is connected to the black side. So I'm going to experiment, and I'm going to say maybe that's the problem. I'm going to delete that. I don't know that you can just, oh, I guess you can move it. So I'm going to do that, and to keep it straight in my mind, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to change it to be black. Okay, that way I know that the short leg is going to the black side, just like this. And I'm going to do another wire, and I don't want to cross the wires, because that's always a bad idea. If you cross wires, sometimes they can touch each other, and they can make a spark, and they can cause your, your uh, idea to not work, to like... It's called short-circuited. It just won't fire. Okay, the red wire goes to the red side, the positive side. Black wire, let's just test it. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, okay. This lights up, but barely. This lights up, but it says, if I hover on it, the current is 915, but the maximum allowed, or no, it's 91, the maximum allowed is 20. So this is way too much voltage and it'll burn out this light bulb. Okay, so this is not a good idea. In real life, your light bulb would burn out after a second or two. Okay, now I could take another battery, one of these, and I could say, well, maybe if I need more, I'll just connect two of them together. Okay. Um, I'm going to click, let's see, let's take this wire and remove it, and I'm going to connect red to black. I'm just make it look pretty so it doesn't make me crazy. Since this is green, let's go ahead and make that one black so it makes sense. I'm going to make this one red, and I'm going to do another red wire from here back to the bulb. And we'll keep that one red. I'm going to light it up and see if it works. Oh, it works, but it already is too much. That says 135. This only says 20. So I don't know why I got so much. But see, this is too much voltage. Let's stop the simulation. Delete. I'm going to put this one back to here. I want to see what I got for, like, what that... that other number is telling you is how much, like how, how fast the electricity is flowing into this bulb, okay? Um, this is like the maximum amount. This is how fast. If I start simulation here, it's lighting up, and it's not even worried. I want it to get brighter, but I don't know if you can with this bulb. Um, Let's try something else. We're just going to have to live with that. Maybe I can change the color and see it better. How about yellow? That looks a little better. I can see it. This one's still no good. I'm going to delete that. Okay, but I, I can see from this, if I unhook this wire, oh, it didn't want to stay where I told it to. I'm just going to delete the wire. This should not light up because the electricity needs to go all the way through in a circle, in a circuit. And you can see nothing's happening. Okay, so I want you to check that out. If you connect it, it doesn't matter what color wires you use. Okay, it's just easier to follow. It does work. 
Maybe try putting another LED on there. Okay, and see if you can connect two LEDs to one battery. I'm going to delete that battery away. Okay, so you could try connecting two different LEDs to one battery, either battery. I can also tell you that this little component called a resistor will slow down the electri electricity flowing into the LED. So this might help you over here um, with um, not having too much electricity going through this and making it burn out if you put this into your circuits. Okay, but I don't want to tell you any more than that. I'm going to let you experiment and hope that your teacher can help you if you have any questions. Okay. Um, I'm just going to see. I'm going to do one quick class. No, I wanted to show you. Oh, this is the rotate tool. So let me just show you. If you wanted to make this turn so it could like fit better above the battery here, you can just click it and turn it that way. Okay, and then you can move it, and then you can connect it like that. So that might help you in some cases if you need to rotate a part. Okay. That's all I'm going to show you. Have fun. Over and out.